Okay, so now we're gonna show that, and then I'll get the crack ready now. So, do you know anything about uh, these players right now? Yeah, so Reefy Beefy, um, he's actually one of the first out of state players to ever come to my uh, weekly that I ran in New Jersey called Underdog. Mm, wow. Um, immediately accepted us with open arms, gave us advice. Um, might have even donated a CRT. <laughs> um, invited invited more people in the competitive community. Said it was a good tournament. Um, got almost nothing but support from him the entire time I've known him. So stand up, gentlemen. Even to this day, I would uh. If I had to, I would fly down, fly fly over to him and help him with any favors he needs. Uh, definitely one of the more genuine and kind people I've I've ever met. Oh yeah, inside, no, I, inside I love, and outside of Smash. I love Reefy and Danky, both brothers actually. They're actually getting yeah. really heavy and even supporting their own community right now with TOing. Yep. Like I said, they even helped stream Ghost Town in Oregon. So like you, you could said, tell, you could tell they were both raised right. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Definitely. And uh, let's get this, let's get this party going, shall we? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, we have some opening comments for this game for sure. I think what we're gonna have to look at, and what I hope uh, Reefy knows, is that this is gonna be one of those matchups where. You're gonna have to choose very decisively when you do go in, mm -hmm. and I think once you do, you're gonna have to uh, to hit a high, high percentage. I'm talking at mm -hmm. least, you know, 80, 85 um, percent. Otherwise, it's just gonna seem like. You're never bringing anybody down. It's yeah. just gonna be one of those, you know, they kept getting that back up type of fights, so. Yeah, pretty interesting to see actually Muscle Man go Falcon. Uh, he usually is playing Pikachu or uh, Kirby. Mm. But maybe he just likes the Falcon Pikachu matchup because of the powerhouse kills that Falcon can get on that light body. Mm -hmm. Oh no. That is not good. <laughs> All right, so Here's Reefy's uh Kind of falling oh. for anything right now. Things are just kind of go a muscle man's way. There you go. There's a stock. <laughs> Did you say there was um, a separate? Prize of some kind for this hunter? Uh, no, but you know, maybe in the near future I'll be working up more towards that. I've looked at things uh called like Macharino. It's like uh. Wait, say that again. It's called Macharino. 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 It's kind of a weird name. Oh, match know? Macharino. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of it? Oh, is that? Yeah. I uh, I know the game Age of Empires used okay. it to uh to get games uh, um like going like matchmaking yeah no um it's kind of something uh, again as i i got a rule change from the fgc it's also something i notice it, it mostly you see on net plays uh you know i'll even shout out if it ever reaches him bum a uh, channel called bum one six uh he usually has a uh, matcherino or like team spooky other channels like that they set up like it's basically like uh crowdfunding pot bonus you know so like uh 
if I send out this channel with like a bunch of Twitter links and everyone just goes there and follows that and like they'll send like a quarter to the pot, you know? And then there'll be a goal of like say a hundred bucks and you can either like those Twitter posts or whatever channels. I don't I don't really know how it works yet. I haven't looked too much into it, or like you can do even your own donation and send it to the pot. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's just something, you know, future goals in mind, but uh handling money is kind of a pain. I already work in oh wow, the nice drill there. Fighting customer service at a grocery store, so mm. <laughs> But yeah, no, that is a, definitely an idea in the future. Kind of glad you brought that up. Maybe people show more interest in it too. They want to do it, support. Because yeah, the money would be going towards stream. Would be going towards the players. That will be the main main factor to get everyone involved. Especially if I start getting more people watching and like growing and stuff. And I can even use it for offline tournaments as well. So, you know. Just a thought out there to other TOs, if you want to help the pot bonus out a little bit, don't need to want to look out for advertisement or something. There's something right there. But again, I haven't looked too much into it, so it's always scary. <laughs> Try not to get scammed, you know, making sure everything's safe. Back to the game. I'm pretty sure I missed that whole game. Uh, who, who won that? <laughs> yeah, that did go quick. I don't know who won that. Can then, uh, uh, someone in chat help me out there? Pretty sure. Was that Reefy who won? Are you there, uh, Wiseacre? Yeah, sorry, you're... just had to grab a okay. water there. Okay, there we go. I didn't know if I just dropped you or accidentally. <laughs> nope, nope, still here. Good. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Reefy did. Yeah, during that whole, uh, advertisement drop then, I even forgot who won that last match, but I'm pretty sure it was... Reefy. Went by quick, though, so... Yeah, these guys are uh, playing much more aggressive than I thought they were going to, so... Mm-hmm. It's definitely a good thing for the viewers. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't think... I mean, this definitely isn't a boring matchup by any means. I mean, these are arguably oh, yeah. the, the, the best and second best characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Both with the ability to heavily combo each other. Um, but sometimes, yeah, I don't know if you remember seeing Boom versus Isaiah at SmashCon. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, Isaiah went Kirby against... Uh, or I'm sorry, Isaiah was going Pika against Boom's Kirby. And game one um, in top eight at SmashCon was a timeout. Oh, wow. And it was, yeah, I mean, to see a timeout in this matchup is just something legendary. Yeah, it's funny you mention that because uh, I, I made a random Facebook post one day. It's like, why don't we do like four or five minutes? Or like, hell, let's get crazy, two minutes. Oh, yeah, I forgot I saw that too. <laughs> There's just so there's just so many pitfalls with that type yeah. of uh, like logic and reasoning. It it'll just never work. I feel it. I'm just used to like just... other games only having like two minutes to try to yeah, crack open someone's yeah. defense, you know? So Yeah, the it's... prob the problem is is you lower the time and then now a viable strategy is just getting a few hits and mm -hmm. learning how to run away effectively for three and a half yeah. minutes. Yeah, which is why I think there was a, a discussion at some point at Discord. I think I saw it involve like Dogs Johnson. They were trying to do a tournament with a rule like that for timeout. So you have to be like two stocks ahead. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe there is like other rules around to the timeout where you, if you want to do a timeout, you got to make sure it's set up like this or, you know. Mm -hmm. Other, yeah, the more you force player interaction, I feel with the rules, maybe. <laughs> you can get a short oh. time. 
a little bit like, you know, ledge hogging in Melee does with like Puff and stuff like that. Wait, wait, what's that? Or like, I don't know, I, I forget what it's called, but like, there's a certain like, ledge count you need to have in Melee. <laughs> or something crazy like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, fighting. I, I feel like I've heard, I feel like I've heard what you're talking about, but I'm yeah. not actually sure what it is. Neither do I. That's what I said. I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, I'm not, I don't play melee, so I play 64. Yeah, me either. And we don't have a ledge counting rule, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Can't believe Muscle Man couldn't even punish that. Is that a high percent here? Yeah, 147. Um... And he's still coming in for that edge guard. Well. Wow. They kind of just have to at that point. <laughs> All right, one stock of peace, mm -hmm. one one. Game oh. three, they say, is always the most pivotal game in the series. Yes, they do. Um, Especially when you're I tied. Think, I think there's some type of stat that, like, 72 to 74 percent of the time, the game, uh, the team that wins game three wins the series. No, oh, wow, really? Yeah. I don't really do Which uh, is pretty much sports information, really. More oh, player. I do. Yeah, New, Jer <laughs> New Jersey like fully legalized. I think like two years ago now. It's kind of crazy, dude. <laughs> legalized sports gambling, nice. Yeah, on your phone and in person. No, good. Be careful about that, man. <laughs> yeah, you better, no, not be I mean, I'm... A, you better not having a bookie with this tournament going that I don't know <laughs> about. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not much of a gambler, but when I do, I want to take uh, more hits. <laughs> Ooh. It's getting pretty uh, risky here. Who's going to gamble their, their high percent in the stock? It's game three. I feel like Kirby's going to land the big hit. Oh, no, I was wrong. We won't kill. That's about as close as you can get. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Um, yeah. Muscle Man taking a game two. Reef. No, that was Reefy, right? Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is Pikachu. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was confused for a second, too, though, not gonna lie. Wait, no, it, no, he switched to Kirby, so. What? Did yeah. they flip? Yeah, they walked oh, away wow. from that game, so. Now there's some pause going on. Oh boy. I'm not sure Here what's happening go. at this moment. Maybe someone was in chat. Here oh. <laughs> we go. Good old muscle man. Maybe this is uh at one point did he ever message me? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh take a quick bathroom break. Yeah, Please no, you're good. Me. You're more than welcome to right now. I will speak and entertain. Okay, we got Reefy as Pikachu and Muscle Man as Kirby now. I'm not sure if these guys knew about the rule or followed it. Like I said, it was a brand new rule, not going to be too heavy on it, but just trying to see if anyone uh, reads or pays attention, you know? <laughs> but it's all in good nature. We'll see what's going on in this Kirby Pikachu matchup here. Nice forward air. Reefy being a little bit more riskier on the edge guards there, going after Kirby, having the total air dominance with his aerials. Alright, so. Reefy having good recoveries back, but Muscle Man kind of playing around with him now. It's at high percent, but Reefy playing really tight gets a grab. 
pushing buttons right now, getting that up tilt out. Oh wow, not able to get punished by Muscle Man in the recovery. Up tilts, up air combo, no, gets the tech on the side plat. Oh, it seemed Leafy tried to run in there and start something, but then punished those up tilts. Good DI away. Goes for ledge. Muscle man playing high. Goes for ledge himself. Coming in with those forward airs. Pretty hard move to beat sometimes. That grab with a high percent. Reefy gonna walk away with the three stock? No. Edge guard. Back air. Okay, Reefy all trying to claim a little dominance, but Muscle Man off that very famous on me forward air, throwing it out there like that, able to get that stock off Reefy. Reefy playing really aggressive in there. Nice grab on the land. Ooh, the rolling up tilt. Perfect land on plat drop with that up tilt. Keeps Reefy on edge guard, but Reefy teleports up the top plat. Now he's in the edge guard. Ooh, gets that nair, gets another nair. It's gonna space. Yep. Gonna space it out to edge guard uh, Muscle Man. I'm not sure. If, like I said, I missed a game, so I don't know if it's 2 2 right now, but it seems like it is. Let's see if this video stops. Okay, it is. Reefy's gonna stay Pikachu. Muscle Man with the choice to switch over now. Goes back to Falcon. Good little character diversity. Like I said, it's kind of hard to tell. I think he played Pikachu. I'm not sure. Oh, nice grab. Grab, pivot, no, not able to reach. Maybe Reefy had a good DI to get escape that. Oh wow, the roll in. Oh, nice little uh, short hop nair. Gonna land on Reefy, but Reefy getting back. And a nice little pivot back throw. Gonna probably be a stock here from him. Gets his down tilt. So no, he cannot grab this ledge. Sorry, Buster. Trying to poach with forward air. Muscle Man spacing it out well enough. Ooh, just a little bit too early on that up air. Trying to combo, but gets to grab instead for the kill. Uh, even the stock, but Falcon lands the combo after invincibility, keeps it going, decides to lead it to a tech option. Ah, but he missed the timing on the forward smash and even missed the up air. Still makes it back after just one forward air from Pikachu. Oh, Reapy uh, punishing those little short hops by uh, Muscle Man there. Trying to run in, in between those jumps it seems. Ooh, nice. He's gonna go out there and just with, uh, land at the back end of that up air. Oh, nice plat drop to Nair to just get Falcon off. Super easy. It seems like uh, Reefy just needs one more Gimp to take this win. Gets away from the up air. Or up B, sorry. Lands the falling Nair grab. Oh, and the forward smash gonna do it. Uh, and just like that, Reefy is gonna take the win and move on to the losers. Round four. To losers' quarters. Awesome. And I'm not sure if he switched over to Pikachu, but I felt like I saw Pikachu on his end at some point. But yeah, that was a great match by uh, Reefy and Muscle Man. And I was right. That was it. Okay, we ended up getting the count right, everybody. Congratulations.